Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a hill house. This is another biome themed house. And this is for those of you that have worlds that look a little bit like this one. You have nothing but mountainous, hilly areas, and you don't really feel like scouring around and finding some flatlands just like we have behind us, but instead, you decide that you want to build in the mountain, and it's not a bad idea. The house is elevated, it's easy to find, it's a little bit more defendable, and honestly, I quite like the look of them. They look quite cool. You guys really enjoyed my previous biome related house, which was my snow house, my igloo house, and I'd love it if you guys supported this video just as much as you supported the previous one. I'm going to be doing some more biome related houses, and I want you guys to let me know down in the comments what I should do next. Should I make jungle? A sand house? Should I make like a beach house? Let me know, I'd be really interested. Check out the card system, check out the description below. At the moment, there will only be my snow house in there, but over time, it's going to fill up quite quickly as I make more and more of these, and you'll see all of the biome-related builds that I have. So, give this video some support, guys, if you wouldn't mind, and check out my other builds. If you want to make the hill house, here's what you're going to need. Grab yourself some spruce wood, some oak wood planks, grab some uh, dark oak wood planks, you'll also need some dark oak wood stairs, some dark oak wood slabs, grab oak wood slabs, you'll also need some stone brick. Also grab yourself some white stained glass block, and you know what, for the moment we'll just leave it at that. We are going to be needing loads more materials later, but we'll just have to grab them as we need them. And by the way, you don't have to use these materials. If you don't want to use spruce wood, for instance, you don't have to use oak. If stone bricks are too hard, use cobblestone. Same for the dark oak, same for the glass, same for everything. So once you have each one of your materials, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'd obviously build this on a hill if I were you. Here's what you want to do. So, find a spot on a hill. I'm going to be making it, mm, let's say, I'll make it right about, a flat part would be nice, so we'll, we'll say about here. On top of this stone, I'm going to do a row of three spruce wood, so that's one, two, three. I'm then going to extend that third spruce wood to the right by six, that's one, two, three, four, I'm going to knock these two blocks out, five and six, so five and six. And then going to connect it down by two, so I'm going to have to destroy one and two blocks so I can connect it down on top of the mountain like this. I'm then going to destroy this area left inside of this little spruce. Then I'm going to, on top of this third block, so this spruce wood that's pointing upwards that I just went right off, I'm going to go up on top of it by again by a further three, that'll be one, two, three. Then I'm going to go right by six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to connect it down to give me this shape. Perfect. So once you have this shape, this is what you want to do next. On top of this exposed spruce wood, the top left hand corner spruce wood block, we want to place a dark oak wood stairs in this position on top of it. Going right of that, we want to do two glass, followed by an oak plank, followed by two white stained glass, followed by a dark oak wood stair to give us this. Then, on top of this, for the next row, starting on top of this left hand glass block, we want to place another stair. Right of that, we want to do three glass, one, two, three. Then, another stair. Then, for the next row, starting on top of the glass again, we want to do a stair. Right of that, a glass. Right of that, a dark oak wood stair. And then, on top of that, we want to simply place a dark oak wood slab. So we want to have something which should look like this. The roof actually may not look perfectly like that, but we'll just alter it a little bit later on. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, once you've got that taken care of, we now want to kind of dig into the hill a little bit. So, obviously, we want the house to have a lot of something. We, we want to be able to see that the house is like on the hill and we obviously want some space inside of the house. So we're going to destroy just behind the area, just behind the house. So we're just going to destroy basically the shape that we have. Can you see what I'm talking about? We're going to destroy any blocks that obstruct it. So basically we're going to do like a one block, two block, we'll destroy that. And maybe maybe even some around this so we can stagger it a little bit. But what's important is that we have a nice area to work with inside the house. It doesn't have to be too big because obviously if this is one of the first houses that you make, you're not going to have that many tools. And if you do, you don't want to waste them 
all on just digging out an area of the house and collecting all of these materials. So we'll just we'll just destroy a a modest area behind the house. So just so that the house has somewhere to go, we'll um, we'll destroy like I don't know like another two rows into the house. Let's say that. So we'll have like five rows walking around space. Um, you just want to, like I said, like I keep saying, and you don't have to do it perfectly. You can. You can do it a bit more jaggedly if you like, but that is, that's four at the moment, so we'll just destroy five. And like I said, you can be a little bit clumsy with this if you like. You can be a little bit clumsy, but this this is where it's kind of variable. Like, if you want, you can just start off with just a place uh, to keep your stuff. And it can very gradually snowball into an area that you keep digging out and out. It's not so important that you dig out the area at the top of the house, like where the glass starts. It's just a little bit more important that you dig out the area behind the frame. So um, just make sure that it's knocked out behind the frame and you'll have something which should look like that. What we now want to do is we want to take these spruce wood blocks that we went up on top of, so like with the freeze, we want to take these middle spruce wood blocks and we want to extend them until they connect to the back wall of the house. So that's one, and this is two, like that. We then want to do the same thing with the spruce woods that we connected together. It's basically the spruce woods that we connected horizontally together. We want to connect them to the back wall of the house, like this, if that makes sense. We can then fill the sides of those walls in. So in between those spruce wood beams, we want to fill these in with oak wood planks, like this. You can see what I'm doing here. And you want to just fill either side in with oak wood planks, like this. Perfect. And what you can do, if you are bothered, and you don't have to, you can destroy this back wall here, and you can apply the spruce wood pattern to it, like I'm doing now. So where you have spruce wood, you can kind of just like connect the spruce wood together, like this, and that kind of looks like beams. And if you want, you can further destroy the back wall and you can replace it with either like oak wood planks or you could um, replace it with like dark oak wood planks. Or you could just leave the wall alone because of course, if you are planning on expanding this house um, into the hill and as far back as you like, then it would make sense for you to just, you know, leave it as is. So we want to have something which should so far look a little bit like that. Well. If you want, you can now cover up that area. So just take like dirt, where, where is it? You can just like take dirt and you can just like cover up this area of the house that we kind of have like exposed here. And, uh, and that's perfect. You can just cover this up, make it look all natural and stuff. And what we now want to do is extend the roof back. So the roof's quite easy. We just want to um, take the very side of this spruce wood that we have a stair on and we just want to place dark oak wood stairs coming back towards mountains so we just want to take each one of these then uh, dark oak wood stairs and we want to extend them coming back towards the mountain the hill and uh, you obviously only have to extend them as far back as they will go you don't have to uh, you don't have to uh, extend, you don't have to like knock out blocks to extend it further if you don't like. But if you would like to kind of like give your house a certain depth, what you can do is you can destroy some of the blocks surrounding the house. And this also helps for obviously if you want to have your house, uh, if you want to be able to like walk around the outside of it, you can have your house a little bit more exposed like this if you so choose. I'd, I'd make it look a little bit more natural than this if I were you though. I'd, I'd make it look a little bit more natural. So we'll connect this back here for instance and then we'll have like the dirt riding up these sides so it'll be like here and about about here like something something like this so that the house is a little bit more exposed or you can have less of it exposed if you want and you can use other blocks as well obviously you can use like a uh, stone and what have you so it can look a little something like that and if you don't like the fact that so much of the roof there is uh, is connected if you want it a bit flatter you can but i kind of like the idea that the roof goes like um the roof just kind of like goes back in different places. I, uh, I kind of like that idea. So we're also going to connect the dark oak wood slabs at the top as well. And we're also going to make the roof overhang the front 
of our build by one row, like this. You know what? Um, what we want to do, we just want to extend the stairs over the front of the build by one row. And then what we want to have is we just want to connect the dark oak wood slabs we want to connect these stairs that overhang together at the top with dark oak wood slabs. And we just want to have like a flat roof on top like that because I quite like how that looks. And we can have upside down dark oak wood stairs like underhanging um, the overhanging layer of dark oak wood slabs. And um, that actually doesn't work, does it? So we'll place an upside down. There we go. That's how I achieved that effect. So we want to place an upside down dark oak wood stair like right at the top here. And then we just want to have the slabs coming back. So um, you have this sort of effect. And um, to fill the house in a little bit, um, at the front here, we just want to have a layer of white stained glass riding up the left and right hand side inside the front of the house. Then inside of that, we want to have a layer of oak wood planks that kind of like runs up the left and right hand side inside of the glass like so and we want those spaces open we can then take out our stone bricks here and we want to add a chimney to our house so our chimney can can be in line with like any part it okay this is a better way to explain it take the second row of dark oak wood stairs on the left hand side of the roof knock out one of the stairs um then do a row of two stone bricks on top of that and then we'll come back to that later once we have the materials because what we're now going to do is we're going to take out our oak wood slabs we're going to take out any blocks that obstruct just underneath the house and we want to take the from this glass on the left to the glass on the right and we want to do two rows of oak wood slabs that come out in front of the house like this we can then get rid of dirt get rid of white stained glass grab yourself some stone brick slabs and some stone brick stairs we want to go around the oak wood slabs with your stone brick slabs like this and we want to connect the corners of each one of those slabs down to the ground so connect the two outward corners down to the ground you'll have to use slabs on the corners obviously and then you can just do stone bricks to connect down to the ground wherever they connect let them connect you don't have to alter that at all what do we want to do next well Let's make the pathway that uh, will actually allow us to walk up and down here. And what we want to do, we want to take our stone brick stairs. And we want to take this stone brick slab that connects to the house. And we want to place like a stone brick stair here. Can you see what I'm talking about? We knock that out. We have a stone brick stair there. Then we kind of just want to form a pathway here that will allow us to like walk up and down our house and it doesn't have to be a great path per se it doesn't have to be like like a straightforward path it can wind it can it can do all sorts of crazy things you can even manufacture some of the paths so you can do like uh you can i mean you can see what i'm doing it doesn't have to be perfect um and you might want to grab your old pal like dirt and stuff again. And you might just want to make it so that you can like build it into the mountains. So um, we'll have like some dirt here and that will allow us to place some stairs here and here. And then uh, obviously we can like place one here and then we can have one here. And um, maybe then we want like, I don't know, like one here. And maybe, oh, maybe, okay. So how about like, um, yeah, we'll have one here, and then we'll have boop, boop, boop. We'll have a stair here, here, and here, and we can have one here, and we can have a dirt here. So you can see that we have a pretty elaborate path that takes us up to our hill house, but that can be as elaborate or as inelaborate as you want, and obviously you might want to make sure that all of the blocks are supported by something. Um, that'd be that'd obviously work a little bit better. Maybe maybe we place some like dirt here instead of having having anything. And just like I said, just make sure all of them are supported. You can even keep the stone slabs if you like, not supported by anything. Um, I'm not going to, but you could. Uh, it'd be better if you had a 
a few different blocks rather than anything else. But I'm going to get rid of all the stone bricks actually, and I, I quite like it how it looks there. You see, it looks it looks like a path that's just been made out of necessity. And there we have the house in the mountain, and it's actually looking quite good like that. I really like the look of that. Well, once you've got that, um, we can probably get rid of just about all of our stuff. We want to grab ourselves some uh, stone brick stairs. I know we just had those. Um, grab yourself some web. Um, we'll need some light. Um, we'd probably only have torches at this point that we're building this house. Um, we'll also need some... Oh, you know what? We'll need the slabs again because I forgot about one point. We'll need some oak wood slabs and we'll want to grab ourselves some uh, some dark oak stairs. And we'll also need some like uh, some dark oak fence and we'll uh, grab ourselves some oak wood fence just in case we need it as well. So I'm um, coming out of this stone brick here. Um, the chimney, we want to place a stone brick stair, and then we just want to have kind of like a pattern, um, kind of like a, um, what, what do you call it, like a smoke pattern with the webbing, that's all you have to do, you can make that as cool or as not cool, uh, you can refine that as much as you want, or you can not bother completely up to you. Um, we're going to place a layer of dark oak fence going all the way around the top of the stone brick, um, the stone bricks that we have for the little outside part of the house, like so. Um, we're also going to have a layer of three oak wood slabs coming out of like where the balcony is going to be here, just the second floor, and we're going to place some uh, oak wood stairs um, upside down in front of that. We're then going to do oak wood fence going all the way around this little balcony and plus we're also going to connect we're going to connect down with our dark oak wood fence maybe maybe this block shall we can we do wait okay um can we do this block here and this block here now i realize that this connects to the fence but there's an easy way around this we can just use a different fence so perhaps we don't use um the oak wood hmm that connects Will never brick fence connect? I used never brick in the original of this, but I realized that, of course, never brick fence um, is hard to come by. So you could either, to combat what's happening here, you could either make this ledge a little bit bigger, or you could just keep it as is. I actually don't like that. I don't think that never brick fence connects to anything. I, I seem to think. Yeah, never brick fence, that's why I didn't run into trouble. So I originally had this as never brick fence. So if you're just making this, just for the fun of it, I'd use never brick fence because it doesn't connect and I'd stick with the original plan of using the dark oak wood fence to connect the balcony down to the ground. I was wondering why that wasn't working. It's because of course never brick fence, well, I don't know why, doesn't like to connect to anything else. So we now have this. We're now going to come inside of the house and we're going to have a layer of oak wood slabs to separate the first floor from the second floor. So I'm going to fill in all but the last row here. And I'm going to have like a layer of dark oak wood stairs running up the back of this. So starting from this corner, I'm just going to have a layer of dark oak wood stairs that um, just connects like, there we go. So just in this corner here. And then I can just fill in the rest of this floor with oak wood slabs. And I think that's so. Yeah, oak, okay. nope, no we can't, so now nah, there we go, we can now walk around. I'm going to place some torches like here and here. Um, I can even, if I want to, destroy a little bit of the roof inside here, but I'm not going to destroy all of it, I'm going to keep some of it. I'm going to, I'm actually going to keep some of this, so... Um, just just so that it looks like this is actually built into the mountain on the inside. Maybe maybe get rid of these blocks here. But um, some at the back I'm actually going to keep. I quite like the effect. And I'm going to also place some torches like down here. That would be good. And that will just light up the place well enough. And obviously what can you have up here? Well in your house um, you'd have... Uh, like a bed, maybe a chest, maybe a furnace, maybe a crafting table. I'm going to hide the bed behind the stairs just because it seems kind of safe. And I'm going to have like a, a chest here, a furnace here. Furnaces don't grab onto anything, do they? No. And I'll have a crafting table here. And uh, I doubt that you'd have too much else in your house considering that this is supposed to only be like a very, a, a starter house if nothing else. So let's, let's have a look. We'll have a look from the outside and we'll take a look and see how cool this house is. So it actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think it does anyway. Anyway, um, some changes I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab some dirt and some like cobblestone uh, actually cobblestone wouldn't make sense just look at the surroundings um, I'm going to fill this in with dirt here and I'm going to fill in that block with stone and I'm also going to fill in this block with dirt and there we go I'm just I'm just cleaning up the environment a little bit doing my doing my bit and we now just have a nice little hill house that's very very easy to make and it can be applied to just about any 
it can be applied to just about any hill and um, you can make the house like as big as you want you can dig it into the hill if you like you can make it as small as you want I really really like this house you can put a door on it if you wish I'm not putting any doors on mine because I kind of like it as it is but um, I, I like everything about this and I think it's right nice and easy and I hope you guys like it as well well if you like this house please give it a like give it a favorite give it a shout I'd really really appreciate it let me know what other biome related houses you want me to make next I'd really love to hear your guys opinions like favorite share if you wouldn't mind comment down below subscribe if you haven't already check out the card system for all of my biome related builds that'll be in the card system and the description below that'll be filling up quite quickly there'll only be one as of the time this video is posted but over time it's sure to grow quite a bit thank you very much for watching guys see you in the next video